Hi, I'm Steve Davis, CEO and lead consultant at Real Wealth Academy, and this is hashtag Ask Steve Davis. Today's question was about using capitalization rates with single family. This is really completely unnecessary. Where you find this is on big forums and people asking it because they see both single family and commercial evaluations and they make the assumption, they read a commercial evaluation, they go, hey, there's a cap rate on here, so shouldn't we use that with single family as well? And you can. The problem is it means nothing. 30 years of doing this, hundreds of single family houses, I have never used a cap rate on single family houses. Now remember, this is four units and below. One to four units is considered single family. Look at your earnest money contract, it will always say single family, one to four units. Five units and up is considered commercial, five units to 10,000 units. In those deals, we do use the cap rate, and it's based off the net operating income. That capitalization rate determines the value of that property. It does nothing to determine the value of a one to four family. You're looking, you should be looking at the cash flow and the equity capture. Those are the two big numbers to look at when evaluating single family. So please do not waste your time looking at cap rates on single family. It's useless, it's unnecessary. However, it is of utmost importance on any commercial deal that you do that you look at your NOI and your capitalization rate because that's going to determine the exact investor value of a commercial property. Thank you for watching. Remember that you can ask questions of me at any time on any of our social media platforms with simply hashtag AskSteveDavis. I look forward to your next question.